In this video, we're going to look at customizing session views in Pro Tools. First, let's look at adjusting track size. We have a variety of different track sizes in Pro Tools. You can see that they range from the smallest, which is micro, all the way up to fit to window, which makes the track as tall as it can possibly be and still fit into the edit window. In addition to clicking in the amplitude scale area, you can also click the track height selector in the upper left corner of the track. If I want continuous control over the track height, I can hold Command on the Mac or Control on Windows while I adjust the size. If I want to change all of the tracks to the same height, I can hold either the Option key on Mac or the Alt key on Windows and change the height on any individual track. There are several ways to change the track order in Pro Tools. In the edit window, I can click on the track name and drag the track up or down to a new position. In the mix window, I can click the track name and drag the track left or right to change the position. In both the edit and mix windows, I can click on the track name in the tracks list and move it up or down to change its position. To get a closer look at a waveform in the edit window, I use the zoomer tool. I can single click to zoom in incrementally, or hold down the option key on Mac or the alt key on Windows to zoom back out. I can also click and drag to zoom in on a particular range and have that range fill the edit window. And if I want to zoom vertically as well as horizontally, I can hold down the Command key on Mac or the Control key on Windows while I make the selection. And if I double click the zoomer tool, I can fill the screen with the longest displayed track in the session. Another powerful zoom feature in Pro Tools is Zoom Toggle. If I select a clip on a track and then click the Zoom Toggle button, the selection will fill the screen and the track height will automatically change to a taller setting. You can customize the zoom toggle settings by going into the Pro Tools preferences, clicking on the editing tab, and changing the settings in the zoom toggle section. You can also change the horizontal and vertical zoom in the session using the horizontal zoom buttons in the edit window toolbar, and by using the audio zoom button, which will resize the audio waveforms, or by using the MIDI zoom buttons which will change the range of visible MIDI notes. Another powerful zoom feature in Pro Tools are the zoom presets. With the default settings, pressing the first preset will zoom you out to where you can see several minutes of your session, and the number 5 preset will zoom you all the way in to the sample level. You can customize a zoom preset by holding the Command key on Mac or the Control key on Windows and clicking on the preset that you'd like to customize.